Charlie, what did Saving Grace provide for you? Saving Grace rescued me in Richmond County after I was abandoned as a puppy. They gave me a place to live, food, blankets, lots of love. They gave me heartworm medicine and all my vaccinations. They neutered me. That wasn't my best day. But they made sure I wasn't euthanized in a kill shelter, which is prominent in rural areas like Richmond County. Charlie, how is the Saving Grace adoption environment different from a shelter? Well, Saving Grace provides a natural and non-traditional shelter environment for us to interact with others and exhibit natural behaviors while waiting on a forever home. They have a funny farm setting and it allows adopters to mingle and interact with all kinds of dogs and choose a new companion based on temperament and suitability for their home. Who took care of you at Saving Grace? Let me tell you about my friend Molly Goldston. She started Saving Grace at a private residence and farm in 2004. She worked in a shelter after graduating college in 2000 and saw so many unwanted pets, euthanasia, and overwhelmed shelters. She saw there were numerous people in the area that were looking and interested in adopting. Her dream was to make a space where, excuse me, where dogs and humans alike felt comfortable removing the stress from meetings that would happen in scary shelters. Saving Grace believes in a nonprofit idea. All of their workers are volunteers, except for the surgeons that do spay and neuter. They charge a small adoption fee so they can provide good veterinary care before giving us up for adoption. They believe fundraising is an important component, whether it's a one-time gift, a monthly donation, or a bag of dog food, or a few hours of your time, and they help find adoptable dogs that just need a second chance, like me. If you, Charlie, if you could say one thing to the volunteers at Saving Grace, what would you say to them? Wow, I would say thank you to them. Without the wonderful volunteers at Saving Grace, I would have never been able to find my forever home with you, Anna. I'm so happy that I get to have a big backyard, a doggy friend to play with, and a family that loves me. Yeah, I jump the fence all the time, and that makes my dad mad, and I chase squirrels. That's something I could never do in a shelter. Saving Grace gave me a second chance, and I am thankful for that. Charlie, thank you so much for sitting for this interview and for your input. It was, it was great to talk to you. Despite rates of euthanasia and stray dogs declining, kill shelters are still prominent across the United States. Due to practices like breeding, dog fighting, other various forms of animal abuse, or simply gross negligence, many dogs live in abandoned areas, uninhabited land, or simply become quote-unquote neighborhood dogs. One of Saving Grace's most recent cases of rescue occurred in June 2022 when a neighbor called Sampson County Animal Control and reported a house because of an overwhelming smell. There were 14 dogs and one cat living in the building, malnourished and emaciated. These instances are all too common. Supporting rescues such as the local ASPCA, independent nonprofits, or even signing a few petitions can go a long way towards eliminating animal cruelty.